<laughs> Hola, and amigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw. And I'm your host, David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of the techniques used to build this animation. So you might remember in some of our previous episodes that we did something called the flip technique, which stands for first, last, invert play. And it's generally a way to make layout transitions really, really smooth by having the illusion of a last element appearing in the place of a first element and then transitioning that to zero so that you have the illusion of smooth movement and smooth scaling. Uh, we were using this homegrown flip function. And uh, if you remember, it only took one element, first L and get last L, which returned the first L, but I adjusted it a bit so that we could, uh, we could take in an array of elements. And so the way we do that is, well, we have first L's, which is an array of elements, and we map over get rect, which get, get rectangle, which gets the bounding client rectangle of each one of those elements. So now we have an array of rectangles. Then we do like we did in the original flip function on the next animation frame, we do something, and then we get all of the elements uh, via get last L's. In this case, it's just going to be the exact same as the first L's. And then we're going to do four each on each of those last L's so that we can get each individual rectangle of those last elements. Now, remember, we still have the array of first rectangles that we could reference the original first rectangle of each element from. Uh, we do our normal invert calculations here. We don't really need this console log. Uh, and we set a few properties, dx, dy, dw, and dh. In this case, only dx and uh, dw are going to be important to us. And I'm also adding a double dash w. And what this is, is just the width in pixels of the last rectangle. Now, this is going to be important when we do our sliding layers, which we're going to talk about next. But now that we have all of those properties set on those last elements, we do what we, um, we've done before, which is we set data set flipping to true over here, flipping to true. And then on the next animation frame, we remove all of those data set flipping attributes from each of the elements. And that way, we, our transitions in the CSS will just work. Yes, uh, and we, we break down the flip technique a lot in, in other videos, so you, you should definitely go back and check those out. Um, but essentially, uh, for the, the CSS side of things, I'll, I'll show a little bit of what's happening there. Uh, we've got all of the elements that we want to animate. Uh, they've all got the same transitions right now. And then when data flipping is active, they have transition none. This is so we can instantly move that element where it needs to be um, with, uh, with our transforms. So down here, res and zer, uh, we're translating those uh, back to their original position with that dx value. So whenever, whenever the, uh, the animation happens, whenever we trigger that flip, if I take that off, you can see how res and zer are just instantly where they need to be. This uh, transform dx makes it so that they uh, transition into, into place from that um, old position if uh, things would refresh here. <laughs> uh, let's see, there we go. All right, so yeah, now they, now they smoothly animate into place because we've translated them to their old position to now uh, transform back into uh, where they actually are in the DOM. Yeah, and you can also watch the full process of us creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique and seeing every drop of sweat as we struggle to make this work. So please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, you could leave a comment or you could ask in the chat and we'll be more than happy to answer. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io and CSS Tricks at css-tricks.com and viewers like you, you can pledge at patreon.com slash keyframers. Links are available below.
Hola, Animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw, but you know may know me as... <laughs> Let's start that again. 